Okay, today we're going to talk about clearancing your engine block and your single cylinder cooler when installing an aftermarket billet rod. Uh, it, we, we put on the invoice, make sure everybody does it, we get the calls all the time, and you know, the rod hits the bottom of the cylinder wall. Well, it says in the invoice you need to do that ahead of time before final assembly because it's going to make a mess. And we're talking about these areas right here on each side, right? This area here and up on this here where that rod as it goes around on the swing, it's going to hit. Uh, easiest way to do it, just take a cutoff wheel, stick it through the side of the hole here, take the cutoff wheel and just go down. And if you go down probably, uh, and you go down three quarter inch, it'd be great plenty. You go down three quarter inch, about the width of the rod on each side, that will clearance it. And then you can kind of, you kind of see where you're going to be with the rod. You, gotta, you can kind of hold it up there and how wide it's got to be. But just take a die grinder, clearance it ahead of time, dummy assemble it. Like a good way to do that, you stick the crank in, stick the rod on with the piston on it. Don't put the rings on the piston, stick it on there with the rod, rod bridge stuck on it loosely. And turn it around first to make sure it all clears. If you got 30,000 clearance between the, the rod and the block, that's great plenty, that's all you have to do.